Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Marvel's The Avengers in preparation for Black Panther. Um, I've done all the movies up to that, except for The Incredible Hulk, because I don't have that movie. I don't have access to it. And I just have not released it yet. And yes, I'm aware Black Panther is being released in a couple of days, and I'm working on it. But anyway, we're going to do The Avengers today, and I'll try to run through the other ones uh, later on today and have them up. And I'll have try to have everything published by tomorrow. Oh my goodness, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm going to try. So anyway, we start off with The Avengers with um, the aliens that um, are talking how they want the test rat and how it's on Earth, and they want to let the Earth burn. And of course, Loki is heading that. So, because he's being a little vindictive, a little B about it. So, we start off at a shield facility and it's being evacuated because the test rack has um, been turned on and it's spiking. So, Fury and Phil Coulson and Maria Hill go to investigate it. And then, um, basically, the doctor, uh, Selvig, I think that's how you say his name, uh, is telling him basically it's like a gateway or like a doorway and someone's knocking on the other side and out pops Loki. So he attacks them and uh, brainwash brainwashes Hawkeye and he wants to conquer the earth and then he brainwashes Dr. Selvig. Selvig. I don't know. I don't say the doctor. <laughs> so um, then Hawkeye shoots Fury but he was wearing Kevlar so he's okay. Then Hill goes after them, and the building is starting to come down. Uh, Fury manages to escape, and also Loki escapes. Then Hill got trapped in the action scene, which was so flippin' awesome. I cannot even tell you how awesome I love a car chase scenes. I loved it so much. The way they were maneuvering the Jeeps and stuff was so cool. I loved that. Anyway, so Hill got trapped, but they managed to um, also escape. Then Loki, um, Loki, Loki shoots down um, Fury's helicopter. And then we get a call from Black Widow as she gets interrogated by some Russians. Then the Russians get a phone call, and um, Ms. Coulson calls her in. And <laughs> the funny thing is, like, the guy is giving her all the information, and she kind of calls him out on it. And then you have an amazing fight scene when she breaks out of her chair. And like starts going after people is so awesome. I, I it's so crazy. I love her fight scenes. Like Scarlett Johansson does an amazing job, or her stunt double, whoever's doing it, is amazing. And so um, then they tell her to go get the big guy, and that's Banner. And so basically, Black Widow hired this little girl to get Banner to go uh, meet uh, meet her outside of town. And at first, it, they talk. Then it gets kind of violent a little bit. But the green guy doesn't show yet. So, um, but he does agree to come in. Then Fury talks to the council. And then we cut to Captain America is training. And he's got a little bit of PTSD. Because he still remembers what happened to him. But there's really nothing he can do about it. Because he's like 70 years into the future. And so uh, Fury wants to recruit him, and Captain America uh, said that, because um, Fury briefs him, it's about the test rat, and he says, uh, Captain America said you should let that in the ocean. And then we cut to Iron Man, he's using clean energy test, and that, um, when, once he turned it on, it's lighting up the entire uh, Stark Tower, which is actually pretty cool. Then Coulson interrupts him and um, Pepper, and uh, so um, he recruits him, and there's the L&D mention. So they were thinking about L&Ds years for the shows, for the um, Marvel and um, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was even thought of, which is so crazy. And... Um, then we cut off, uh, cut to Coulson and Rogers talk, and basically Coulson's a little bit uh, fangirling. <laughs> He's like, "I am such a big fan. Oh my god, <laughs> that type of thing," which is kind of funny. And uh, then Loki talks to the aliens, and then we uh, see Captain America at the base and talks to Black Widow, and then he runs into um, also Banner, 
And he tries to be really respectful of Banner and not trying to be rude or anything. And um, I also like how he sees the good in everybody. I think that's really neat. And then we cut to where the base is a helicarrier. And they all take off. And then Captain America gets very tense because he made a bit earlier. It's like, you can't show me nothing I haven't seen bef before. And Fury's like, bitch, ten dollars. So he literally gets him ten bucks. <laughs> and then we cut to where Banner is running algorithms on how to uh, track the Tesseract because it's emitting uh, gamma waves, and that's why they brought him on in the first place because he knows all about the gamma rays because that's how it turned into the Hulk. And then we cut to Lucky's group um, is working, and they found the next target. Then Coulson asked Captain America to sign some cards that he collected, some old vintage Captain America cards. And then we cut to where Loki is in Germany and takes a guy's eye, and then Banner uses it to open a vault. And so then Loki goes on a frightening spree, like, scaring everyone, trying to make everyone bow to him, and this old man's like, I am not doing that. And then, um, Captain America drops in and stops him, and then they fight, then Iron Man comes in and hacks in, uh, the Quinjet PA system and plays an awesome song. And, uh, then Loki decides to surrender, which was, um, and then Iron Man and Captain America talk, and how about how easy that was? And then they hear thunder, and you have Loki getting nervous, and they ask, like, are you afraid of a little bit of thunder? He's like, no, I'm afraid it was after that. <laughs> then Thor jumps in and takes Loki, and they pop off and go bye-bye. And then um, Captain America and Iron Man follow them, and then Thor and Loki talk, and he's pissed. <laughs> Thor is really pissed. And then... And then Iron Man attacks Thor, and then mocks him, and then they fight. Then Captain America breaks it up, and then they managed to put Loki in jail, which was also weird because Loki could escape, but he didn't. Anyway. Um, and then uh, Fury threatens him, and because basically they put him into this jail that's like a circular jail, and he says, like, one toe out of line, I'll drop you and see if you can make for that. Then Loki taunts him, and then the team talks. And basically, Iron Man and the Banner get along, and then Captain America and Iron Man argue. And that's because Iron Man wants answers, but he says, like, you should trust stuff, and so they argue some more. And then Iron Man and Banner are working on stuff, and they, they get really chummy. They really do get along. So then Captain America does get his own doubt, so he goes to, does his own investigating, because um, Stark planted a virus in the system that will let him have all the information. And then you have Loki's people transporting stuff, then you have Thor and Coulson talk, and then we have Black Widow talks to Loki and plays him, and basically gave her his plan, which is Banner. They're trying to piss off Banner so he'll turn into the Hulk and go cray-cray on everybody. And then the team fights out Fury, because they find out what they use the test right for. He wanted to make it about clean energy. That's why he was giving the uh, visitors and telling them about that. But he's also trying to use them for weapons and stuff that was used in World and Captain America's movie. And then um, the team starts to bicker. And then basically Banner, uh, um, they kind of regret Banner coming to the carrier. And then, the then he has a scepter and pointing at um, Stark Tower. Then basically Banner goes batshit crazy and turns into the Hulk. And he blew up the engine. And then we have Captain uh, Banner, Hawkeye. Hawkeye is coming aboard. I don't want to I'm tired today. So, um, Bear, Banner is coming to the carrier, and then the sector is at um, Stark Tower. Uh, that's when they're setting up, no, the test practice is at Stark Tower to generate the field that the aliens come in and invade the planet. And then, so, Banner blew up the engine, then Banner, then Hawkeye. Ah, Blooper at 10. 
Okay. Hawkeye is coming to the carrier, and he blew up the engine. And so the Scepter's giving off a weird vibe that's making Banner pissed off and turns into the Hulk and goes Hulk on everyone on the carrier. So then uh, Captain America and Iron Man are working on the repairs. And then basically uh, Black Widow runs for it. And then <laughs> Hulk, uh, then Hulk versus Thor. Then you have people attacking the bridge. And then you have Banner after the jet. That is firing on him to basically lead him away from the engine room. They have um, Hawkeye. I mean, then you have yeah. Then you have Banner go flying. Then Iron Man clears the debris. Then Hawkeye shuts down the engine, but Iron Man restarts it. Then Thor gets trapped into prison. Then you have Black Widow versus um, Hawkeye. Then we cut to where uh, Loki drops Thor into his prison. Then runs into Coulson. So Loki stabs him with the um with the um Loki stabs Coulson with the scepter and then Coulson gives a little bit of a speech but um shoots him with this other gun like a huge gun and then uh, before he dies then we had then then it's Black Widow versus um. Hawkeye, and they finally, she finally, like, knocks his head in. And that seems to help out, uh, knock out the alien stuff, brainwashing. And then we have Thor escapes the prison by bouncing around the prison and with his hammer and manually breaks the door, breaks through before it hits the ground. And then uh, Loki uh, finishes off Coulson. And then we cut to where Iron Man and Captain America stable as a carrier. Then Colson officially dies with um, Fury trying to get that team to him. That doesn't really work. So Fury tells the team, and then Banner is okay, but um, and but he was he got when he fell into the ground, he was naked. So the old security guard gave him his clothes. And then Hawkeye uh, talks to Black Widow. And then he's starting to freak out because he's starting to remember what he did. And then we have Captain America talk some more and about, about the location to start figure out where Loki is. And it's at his tower because Loki's a douchebag. And so, and Stark's kind of a douchebag. So he kind of is like, where would I want to put on a big show? I would want to mock my enemies. So naturally I would do it at Stark Tower. Then the team is starting to finally work together, and Fury kind of tricked them into working together because um, when he tells the team about Coulson's death, he basically throws the cards on the table, and he said, well, I guess you never got around to ask you to autograph these, referencing uh, to Captain America with the trading cards. And then Stark, and then we cut to where Stark confronts Loki. Then Loki tries to brainwash him, but it doesn't work because of the metal piece in him. And then, um, then we cut to where Loki throws him out the window, but he has a suit, um, suits him up, and he's fine. And then the then the device goes off, and the Shatari comes through. Then it's Loki versus Thor. Then, um, then we cut to where they crash, and a big-ass alien comes through. It's, like, huge as hell, and it's, I don't know what you, it's just big and reptilian, like, it's, ooh. And then, uh, then we cut to where they, where Thor tries to reason with Loki, but it doesn't work, and he stabs him and escapes. Loki stabs Thor and escapes. And then you have this basically destruction everywhere, and the Avengers are evacuating people, and the Captain Hulk talks to the police. At first, they're not having it, then he takes down an alien that tried to attack them, then it's like, okay, let's follow his plan, let's do that. And then uh, Banner finally comes in, and then Banner turns into the Hulk and kills the big alien super easy. He just went boom! Uh, what? <laughs> and then Captain does more strategizing, and then the Council is calling Fury. 
And then um, we cut to where the Black Widow steals a Shatari ride. Then the army comes in and helps out. Then the council wants to send a nuclear strike. And he's and if you're just like, don't do that, don't be a dummy. I got my people working on it. Then uh, we cut to Hulk versus Loki and basically throws him around like a rad doll, which is hysterical. And then the doctor tells Black Widow um, to use the scepter to cut the feed. And but the council seems to strike anyway. Um Jerry tried to block it, but they did like a double um thing where Basically, they had like two identical jets. One had the missile, one didn't. He took out one of them, but he took out the wrong one. But so, but Stark takes the newt to the portal and uh, calls Pots, but doesn't pick up. And so um, he goes into the vortex and then launches the missile at the Shatari army and blows them up. And then Black Widow goes to the portal, but Iron Man um, escapes just in time. Then Hulk catches him, and he's unconscious, but he scares him awake. And then, uh, then we cut to Mike Peterson um, on the aftermath. It's just Mike Peterson on the news, which was so cool. So they're already thinking about uh, um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that far in advance. They also had um, another villain on the council. I can't remember his name right now, but he was on there, uh, which I thought was also cool. So they actually thought him far in advance as well. So I really like that. And uh, it's like on the aftermath with him on the news and stuff. So that's how I, I just, I was like, oh, I didn't, and I didn't realize that at all. So that's kind of new for me. Then we cut to where Thor takes Loki and just right back home. And then you have the mid-credit scene. We have Thanos. Then you have the end of them eating at a restaurant. And that's the end of the movie. Uh, that was a really, really good movie. I, I've i always liked this movie a lot. And I give it an A+. Plus. This is one movie I've not got tired of seeing. I've probably seen it about ten times. It's a great movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I just love the cin cinematography, the fight scenes, a little bit of comedy in there. And I, it's just a really overall great movie, so I really enjoyed it. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, and do you agree or disagree? What is your favorite part of the movie? And also suggestions, leave them down below. Just leave them. And um, where's also movies, TV shows, or music? Just, just do it. And then subscribe if you made it this far. Thank you. Appreciate it. I want y'all to have a super awesome day, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.